So another day, another trip to Tyler's VW bus. It is freezing cold this morning. It's actually, hold on. It is actually 18 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. Um, let me see what that is for you Celsius people. Negative eight degrees centigrade, or however you guys say it over there in, uh, in the Imperial, no, in the metric system. We're Imperial, we are Imperial, I think. Anywho, we're gonna go get some Walden done, have some fun like we normally do on the weekends, and hopefully complete another portion of his project. So let's cut it. So we are back to work on Tyler's 1978 VW bus, and if you've seen this channel before, you are familiar with some of the work that we've done on this bus. We're getting pretty close to getting it straightened out so that he could do a Subaru swap. On this episode, we... Damn phone. On this episode, we will be working on this massive gaping hole in his windowsill that Tyler tried to repair with some foam before he had met me. But now that we have each other, anything is possible, and we are going to be repairing this uh, to the most professional degree possible, uh, the Vangabonder way. You got these from Bus Depot? You got these from Bus Depot? Did it come with surface rust, or was that your fault? <laughs> I'll leave the link to the replacement patch in the description down below for anyone looking to do this repair. Not sponsored. I like to start my repairs by hitting them with the coarsest wire wheel that I've got. That way I ensure that I get rid of all the rust and any metal that looks like it might be solid with a coarse wire wheel, you'll quickly find that there's some holes. I'll then mask off the area to cut so that I don't cut too much and kind of keep track of the area that I'm working on. And in this case, remove some foam that is left over as you don't want that behind your metal because it will retain moisture and it will rust through again. Remember, fix it correctly and you only have to fix it once. Once all the rust is cut out, I like to clean up the area with my finger sander, which is one of my favorite tools, and get everything nice and squared off so that I can just get my replacement piece of metal and start working out how I'm going to cut it to size and make it fit. Who was giving away free tools? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Since I am bad at measuring, I like to lay my replacement panel over the piece that is cut out and kind of mark it about and start cutting it down to size to make it fit. As per usual, when you have any pieces of metal that are sandwiched together, you will need to drill some holes for your spot welds. Unfortunately, I had left my spot weld hole punch at my house, so I had Tyler drill out the holes, because I hate drilling. Once everything was drilled out, you cannot forget to use the weld through primer. This is what's going to ensure that things don't rust from the inside. It will protect your metal a little bit longer than not doing anything, because remember, the point of restoring your bus is to have it for at least a few more years without some rust, I hope. Hopefully. Oh shit. As you can see, even when buying replacement panels to patch your bus, it will still require a little bit of finesse to get it to fit correctly. But once it fit how I liked, it was time to start welding. Now as with any repair on thin sheet metal, you want to take your time and space your tacks apart so as not to overheat the metal and warp it or burn a hole through. And I've had a few people ask me about my welder settings and I can't really tell you how I set my welder because every welder is different. So in reality it's just about taking your time and dialing in your settings 
before you get to welding in the entire piece. It's taken me a long time to figure out what works for me. And now that I've got it dialed in, it works just about every time since all the metal on the bus is pretty much the same thickness. So my best piece of advice is just to take your time, set it up for the thickness of the metal that you're welding, and then go ahead and take it slow, space apart your tacks, and let the metal cool down a bit. Now I've left in as much of the process as possible in here, just so you guys can see how I get everything done. I like to weld and then grind it down with my finger sander, get it a bit smooth so that my welds aren't stacking on top of each other and creating extra mass for no reason, and then go back over it and fill in all the little voids and then sand it again. It is quite tedious, but if you take your time, you're able to get a pretty good result. Now as you can see with this part, uh, it didn't come in the repair panel, so I just used a piece of scrap metal that we had laying around and folded it over the side of the bus to kind of get that same profile, hit it with a mallet. I didn't have all the correct tools, well, I never really have all the correct tools, but, but you can make it work if you get a little creative and find ways to overcome adversity. And once I was happy with the curve in the metal, I cut it down to size and began to tack it into place. Once again, for this piece, we will follow the same process of spacing our tacks apart, making sure not to overheat or warp the metal as we have the correct curve and we don't want to change it. And then follow that with some finger sanding and a lot of patience and you'll have the repair that you want. Now I'd like to take this time, take this time, tank it. I'd like to take this time to thank all of you who have been wondering where we've been, why haven't I posted in so long, and for keeping up with the channel and continuing to support us. There have been a lot of projects that I've been working on in the meantime, uh, work itself, uh, you know, personal things, and I do love making these videos. They are just very time consuming, and of course this isn't my full time job, I just make these videos for fun and to share this process with you guys, and hopefully help out anyone who is trying to learn how to do this themselves or just interested in the restoration process in general. So thank you so much for supporting the channel and I hope you stick around to see where this channel uh, continues to grow to and the projects that I have coming in future episodes as well as continuing to work on Tangi as I do want to finish the bus project. I'm so excited to go camping again and just experience the van life or bus life, whatever you want to call it. I definitely miss driving it around and it sucks that it's taken me so long, but I want it to come out perfect and I want to be able to enjoy this bus for many years to come and hopefully inspire some of y'all to do the same thing. That's amazing. It's not too bad. Dude, that's fucking beautiful. <clears throat> I mean, it... It doesn't even look like a repair. That's that's what I aim for. Now you're a pro, man. Like seriously, that is unbelievable. It it I mean, it looks brand new. Hate it here. So there you have it, another quality repair, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Bye.